um, 100 subscribers special. I'm filming this a bit earlier than the video being released because by the time I edit it and post it, I'll be at 100 subscribers. So, while this game is loading, let's talk about something. I've got better at the game again. So, yeah, I have way better builds than I have before. And I actually, uh, think... Well, actually, I've deleted that rocket that I was showing you. Anyway, let's check out other people's builds and they'll be featured on this video. This build has been made by SuperMCBendy2. Don't know what that is. Uh, let's check. Uh, this build has been made by Buffy Blaine. Very weird looking. I don't know, but it looks kind of good. Uh, it was just uh, the way that I was loading in on my screen. Uh, this has been made by no one. <laughs> Okay, so that person just left. And this has been made by 101 Mendigo. Built like a plane thing. Look, so those are the four lucky people who've got featured on my video. Now, uh, yeah, those were four random people, except for one of them who I know. But I actually didn't know that, uh, that person who I made. Okay, so, oh yeah, Hindenburg 2. I'll get to that in a minute, it's my best one. So, for my 100 subscriber special, I will be doing a showcase of all my builds in one video. It'll be one long video with all my builds on a um, thing. Uh, so, someone wants me, someone wants to join my recording, so. Uh, I guess she or he or whatever he she person can. <laughs> that was funny. This is my first ever plane. I'll do it in the order of the slots. So this is I think my third fastest plane. Okay, I I always forget how to control it every time I take it off. Okay, I've got the hang of it. And, uh, as you can see, this is the modification to the original tutorial plane. Yes, there is two tutorial planes. This is the original one that's been modified to, uh, what it used to look like is it had no landing gear. Um, I'll put the horn on there. As if I, I was weird back then. I also upgraded this a lot. As you can see, I have separate throttles, but I didn't used to have separate throttles. It was as soon as I found out that I could uh, change the controls of stuff. And uh, here we go. Let's just go down and do uh, a weird landing because this is a weird plane. I do not know exactly how to land this plane, so yeah, okay, that's a hard landing because I don't know how to land it. Uh, that's, I don't use this much. Uh, my second build is the Met, and this Met, I don't know, it looks a bit weird. I've never made a Met before, so this is my first ever Met, and it actually works surprisingly. Um, I thought, I thought the legs can't bend back, and uh, it has guns on there, um, moving around as well. This is my first ever mech. I made this a few months ago actually, handles kind of well. I was lucky to get my own mech without even using a tutorial. Okay, so. That was my first mech, and for some reason it didn't teleport me there. Okay, uh, blimp with no weapons. Uh, I think this looks so embarrassing now. I'm, I'm, I've got way better than this now, and this looks really embarrassing. 
uh, how, how bad it looked. But <laughs> I have got better than this. I built this months ago. <laughs> okay, so sorry for the background noise if you if you are hearing it. People can board in through the back. There are uh, stuff. For some reason there's a weird uh, explosive dog right there. And then this is taking forever to load in. This is my first ever build with an interior. Let me show you the interior. Uh, I hate the look of this thing. I, I hate the look of this thing now. <laughs> but uh, for this video I am showing all of my builds. So if I could get up this ladder, I could show you around. This is where can people can board. This used to be a weapon bay. I have two variations of this. One with no weapons. There's this one and another one with a weapon bay. Uh, let's uh, go down. And this is the pilot's room. It looks really nice. Beds. <laughs> the beds never change except for the pillows. Uh, this is uh, my gaming PC in my room. And uh, of course it's not reality, my gaming PC is, does not look like that, but I will get a triple monitor set up soon. Order food here, so this is like a little cafe, and people can sit down. Uh, and finally is the rooms. Uh, oh wait, trapdoors are not glitched anymore? Trapdoors are not glitched anymore? I don't know, um, this is a normal looking room, actually no, that's a VIP room, a normal looking room? Uh, in my later bills I don't have trapdoors, uh, so this uh, room is a normal room, it's a bit, uh, it's low space of course because I can't fit anything inside here, help me, I'm stuck, let me out, okay. Okay, so, uh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot to fly it, I forgot to fly it, I'll show you how it flies, it flies in a very unrealistic way, that's a clue, and uh, it has copyrighted music on the speaker, so I cannot play the music with that speaker, so, of course I'm not going to tell you the name of the song for copyright reasons, but it's one of my favourite songs. <laughs> I need stuck. Okay, so it flies like this. It's making that noise because the fold can't fold. There we go, now it's folding. So it flies like this. really fast but of course that's not realistic and oh wow that looks so tiny uh, I'm not used to the shadow looking that tiny uh, so it mech with no guns you've already seen this mech but um, this time it has no guns this is a ver different variation of it because people got scared of the guns for some reason even though uh, um, I do not PvP much and I do not randomly shoot my guns for no reason like other people do uh, so this is a fighter jet and oh it looks so weird <laughs> the reason it is is because i originally wanted the fighter jet this long and then i made the landing gears uh like this i am confused of how to fly it now because if i have not flew this one in a very oh no no that's how you accelerate okay so i have not flew this one in a very long time so i'll be really bad at flying it uh Oh well, look, there we go. I, I think I've got the hang of the controls. Uh, is that rudder? Yes, that's rudder. Even though there's no rudder, there's a rudder inside it, so, a bit funny. Uh, so, I'm using keyboard controls. Uh, I don't know why, I just thought it was best, but it feels weird that I've tried it now. Uh, so, I'm going to land the plane. Well, it's not the one of the best landings, but this plane is kind of unstable, so expect that. So, 
There we go. Um, Siren Head. Someone uh, told me to build Siren Head, and um, of course, um, this is meant to be a child friendly video, so I would not tell you what Siren Head does. Um, so, um, this uh, thing makes siren sounds, and it uh, walks around. This is a variation on my neck. Um, just in case if the siren sound is copyrighted, I will not play it. As you can see, the arms can move, the legs can move. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that my mech uh, was able, my mech was able to fly. If I remember the unanchor button, yeah. Okay. To, I um I forgot to tell you that um all of my mechs are able to fly. Don't know why I added that, but I like it. Anyway, let's just say uh, Siren Head's a nice metal guy who uh, likes uh, sirens, and he tries to copy sirens. Okay, so ATS, um, that stands for Alfie's Targeting System. So, uh, basically what this does is it launches, launches like this. Okay, I did the stage disconnecting very early, but... Uh, I kind of like it like this and then uh, there's a bomb that drops but I don't really want to show you because of this is not a PvP server and I do not use weapons for no reason uh, use this as blacklisted okay so uh, this uh, glitches the anti-collision this this uh, this uh, glitches the whoops okay I always forget the controls for that like I'm trying to unanchor and then that happens. So this is faster than uh, Roblox's collision. And uh, if you do not understand what collision is, um, I'm just gonna tell you in um, uh, very briefly what it is. An anti-collision is an anti-collision system inside a game is well no I mean a collision system inside a game is when it detects if you're touching something or not. If, it, if you are touching something, it puts an upwards force or a sideways force, so it pushes you out. Um, but um, cause this is faster than Roblox's collision system. So, because this is faster, if someone blacklists me, I can just glitch inside by uh, spinning. Like that. So that's how it works. I, I, it spins around. Unfinished floating island. I forgot to rename this, but this is uh, finished. Uh, I made this a while ago, actually, and I keep forgetting to rename it. I don't know what that sound was all about, but it made that sound for no reason. Oh, that's a decent looking thing that I see right there. Okay, no, if you zoom into it, that looks really weird. Oh, wait, no, it was just loading in. So, uh, let's see. Oh yep, yeah. okay, so up, down, left, right, uh, B, A, yeah, okay. I need to censor that, I need to censor, let's, let's look away from that. I do not want any of that logo on my YouTube video, uh, I always don't feel pleasant when I see that. It's really unpleasant to see that. I really don't like seeing that logo. Uh, so, um, this is the floating island. It has uh, propellers that disconnect. I'm gonna look away from that because uh, I really hate the look of that. I really hate the look of that. It is a Zeppelin. It is some, it is, it's a Zeppelin. But it has that logo that I really hate on it, so uh, I don't want that on my YouTube video. As you can see, uh, these propellers can disconnect, so it could be like a crash uh, roleplay thing. Okay, good, I'm still looking uh, away from that. Cargo and battleship. Oh, this is the thing I made. Remember on that old YouTube video, like uh, three months or six months ago, when... Uh, I had this boat, uh, I think it looks really bad now, but, uh, because if I've got better at playing crazy, does he still have that out? Okay, 
He does not have that unpleasant logo. Oh, he still he still does. But uh, as you can see, the logos do not show. So. Why did you have to unspawn at the perfect time so the logos pop up again? <laughs> His logo. Can, I, can he please uh, blacklist me and anti copy blacklist? So I do not see that really unpleasant logo. <sighs> okay, uh, I've heard a horn. Oh, it's my boat. Where it loads in. Of course, uh, I've accidentally spawned that on land, so. Let's keep looking away from that thing. Yeah, let's just check if he still has it. Yes, he does. Um, so the way that my camera could teleported uh, does not show the logo. That's really good. And hopefully, it's too pixelated to see the logos over there. Uh, this looks like it's flashing red and black on my screen. Uh, he forgot the white in the middle. Then it would really look like the logo. For some reason, this is taking forever to fold. I don't remember it taking this long to fold. Okay, so now that it's folded and I've cut it because it took forever and some other reasons that I won't tell you This is now successfully folded I just had to change some of my OBS settings Okay, so I told you a reason now uh, Oh yeah, so um, if you've uh, seen my TikTok that has been my most popular video in the whole world actually <laughs> My most popular I don't remember the bottom being white Okay, well, let's just forget about that and uh, let's focus on the thing that uh, that was on the TikTok video. As you can see, this is going way faster than uh, my last YouTube video. And this is because I've added conveyor engines, open bracket, hyperspeed, close bracket, to, um, so I added it to this boat and um, it goes really fast. As you can see, if I go up this ramp um, that I've made on my TikTok video, um, my TikTok username is at Alfie's Fun Time. Alf, no caps, and uh, there's an underscore where after Alfie's. So, um, if I go up here, as you can see, um, I line up, come on, low down, line up, go full speed. And here we go, we're going to uh, take off the boat. And uh, my new boat can do this as well. Uh, yeah, I made a new boat that looks way better than this. And uh, this flies. My boat flies, that's what I made in my tip. That's what I put in the description of my TikTok. And uh, before I crash the game, unless they spawn this, otherwise it's gonna crash my game because that's what usually happens when I fly. Ah, the logo's back. I really want him. I really want him to censor that logo. I'm making this child-friendly YouTube vid video, and I don't want I don't want that logo to be on my video. <sighs> I'm gonna have to do lots of editing to edit that out. Uh, teleporter. Oh yeah. So uh, this uses a glitch that uses a. Why did I spawn in the wrong place? Okay. Let's make sure I have my camera. Uh. I go on there. Okay, so this is um Okay so um this is a glitch that involves a locked piston and um an anchor block and a disconnector and uh, these act in a very weird way Okay, so I'm back on here, and um, so basically, this is really weird glitch where ah, uh, this is really weird glitch where um, the 
what's it called again? The teleport, uh, um, doesn't actually teleport, it's a weird illusion. So, when it disconnected, disconnects the, the anchored block, and the anchor block is anchored, um, and the piston is glitched out, um, the other player's computer think, think the piston is attached, so everything else is attached to it, so it looks like it's not moving. Uh, which is a very strange glitch. Uh, it looks, it looks like it's not moving. And then on the other screen, when the other player jumps on, it's like a teleport themselves. Okay, so this is a flinger. This is, does exactly what it says. It flings. Uh, so uh, of course, warning, it's about to spin. And I forgot the control, so I don't think I'll be able to start it up. Oh, there we go. I started it up. Please don't show that logo. And uh, there we go. And uh, I'm a bit, I've been flung by myself. And let's despawn that. And uh, oh, I've missed my flying turret. Okay, so this flying turret is a turret that flies. When it flies and it has sound effects and stuff that I won't play because of um this is not PvP and I'm, I'm not going to shoot my guns for no reason. Okay, so the sound effect did play because I was trying to click the back logo and for some reason uh the back icon I mean the back icon not the logo. Why is it a logo? It's not a logo. It's a it's an arrow icon. So next is uh this uh thing is like an army of circles really. That's how I'll just that's a weird looking tank and that logo showing up again so eh. I really don't want to see that and uh, I, don't, I, I, I might play on the private server I'm going to play on the private server if, um, so I could uh, uh okay so I'm going to use this this is really weird so uh, I think loads of people have made this. Stop flying! And stop flying! Okay, he's ignoring me. Um, so I made uh, this thing. People want me to. Uh, People wanted me to make loads of circles and put propellers on them. So I called it Army of Circles. Oh no, he's flying over me. And I've accidentally changed my camera. Uh, look away, look away, look away. Okay, I don't think I've seen it. So now that he's flying right there, um, it's very easy to see him. So I think he's trying to show off or something. With that really horrible logo. Uh, Titanic 2 battle version. Okay, so Titanic 2 is um, a redesigned Titanic that I made myself. Of course, there is a real Titanic 2 that's about to come out, but I didn't design, I didn't rebuild that. Oh, he's so close to me. I just saw like the nose of it, so I turned my camera this way. And uh, I'm gonna have to turn my camera all the way the other way when I spawn. Hopefully, he doesn't despawn, so it's right there. Okay, did I say it's water? Yes, I did. Water. I'm 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 English, so I say water instead of water or whatever Americans say. Uh. Yeah. Um. So this bolt, of course. That's uh. A very that's a very uh that's a thing that you would notice if you've seen this first time okay so the door the door closes and opens and there's lights the funnels rotate and uh what i like i covered the top of the funnels because it's meant to be an electric ship and these are giant batteries and then there are also batteries uh, inside the walls and inside the floor and stuff. And also, uh, this has conveyor engines as well, just like my other one. Conveyor hyperspeed engines. Uh, okay, so 
Okay, this sinks into the ground. Uh, just, well, what is a ground? <laughs> uh, it sinks into the water just because of uh, it going fast. But uh, if I go backwards, and uh, if I go to this, then it starts flying, just like my other one. But I can't, like, fly from anywhere in the map. Okay, so before the pistons start going crazy and uh, glitching out, uh, let's despawn. Teleporter. Oh, wait, uh, sorry. Fighter jet. Okay, so this is another fighter jet that still looks a bit squashed, but better than the other one. I've had an idea of using pistons for landing. Hello, I'm a, I spawned into the water. That's a bit weird, so uh, let's despawn and then... No, 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 don't say that logo to me. Okay, so... Ah, don't say that logo to me. Ah, don't say that logo to me. Okay, so uh, this takes off like uh, this, and uh, this is mouse controlled now. Oh wait, I don't see him anymore. Oh no, he's right there. Let's uh, not go close to him because the logo will be, be appearing. So now I know where to put my camera when uh, I despawn. Okay, so let's despawn now and uh, put my camera where I wanted it to be so it doesn't show. Okay, Hindenburg 2. Let me tell you something. This is one of my best builds. It looks really nice. Like, it's like one, it's like one of my best builds. So, basically, these propellers move up and down. And it looks really cool when you do that. And uh, also, um... This is uh, the in there's uh, the interior, and uh, as you can see, it doesn't take up much space. Of course, of course, it needs like some space so it doesn't be doesn't be heavy. Ah! And uh, if I take off, ah! so hard to notice him sometimes and then he's just right right there he's like a quantum zeppelin <laughs> okay so this is a uh, hindenburg 2 the second hindenburg that doesn't have the fire problem and uh okay everything is all laggy wow uh he has a whiteboard as a mouse pad for some reason it doesn't want to fold oh there we go now it's finally folding Okay, this is my best build. Look how it takes off. The propellers move, they face up, and they lift it off of the ground. Then the, first, then the front propeller, right behind the cockpit, starts accelerating it. And the propellers face down. Oh, wait, no. They're not meant to face down yet. Um, I just sometimes do that by mistake. I, okay. So after the propellers have uh, done their thing, they rotate forwards and they make the blimp, the, the zeppelin, go oh, really fast. Wow, I'm even confused about zeppelins. Uh, so let me. Uh, I'm gonna fly at 400 altitude. Why not? No, no, no. no I'm sorry, me 200. I don't mean zero. I mean 400. The propellers are malfunctioning. Uh, that no, I'm actually, I'm actually telling the truth. The propellers won't, won't go to the place that I want them to. Okay, uh, there we go. They're finally facing upwards. That that was where I wanted them to face, and uh, they're pushing upwards. And uh, now I'll put them downwards because uh, we're gonna reach 400 feet then. 400 altitude. I don't know what unit this is in, but I don't have a scale. I don't have a scale or whatever this unit is. 
Oh, I forgot to show you the interior when I despawn. So I'll show you the interior. It looks um, really nice. It looks uh, premium. Oh, it's not there, but if he's not there, then where is he? Okay, he's right there. And he's about to show the logo to me. It looks like he's doing it on purpose. Uh, please do not show that logo to me. I really hate it. Ah, I have an audience. Some people find that logo really unpleasant, and I do. So I'm one of them. I'm one of those people who find that logo really unpleasant. Okay, so. malfunctioning <laughs> okay so a blue ladder of course uh, um, because people have really low graphics for some reason and uh, just don't show that logo to me please uh, base pizza the tasty burgers mr. China's kitchen why not <laughs> So yeah, I named I named these uh, uh, where you uh, order food. You can uh, sit at the table. It looks really nice. Uh, and uh, if I uh, no uh, okay, let's do a different room, not that room because of uh, that zeppelin. And uh, this is a TV in a double bed. This is one. Uh, uh, I think this is uh, just a room for two, and a room for one looks like this. They have more space for some reason because the bed is not taking up as much room. Okay, so they have a TV and stuff. Uh, if you go down here, you can go down these stairs and uh, have a nice view if you want. Have a nice view. And uh, of course, you board it by going up these stairs. This is a crew only, a decompression chamber. So this. This, this is a clue that it flies at high altitudes. Of course, uh, there's no trap doors because there's a glitch. And uh, here we go. This is the decompression chamber. This is where you do the maintenance and it's all labelled and stuff. And of course, this is down to the cockpit. And uh, move that away. And. Uh, People being interested so yeah let me show you my other builds so this that was Hindenburg 2 okay uh, so like name here is a uh, hover car and um, as you as you noticed I have never named it so I'm about to fly while well, someone's trying to make it unstable Okay, uh, it's very hard to fly like this for some reason. Ah! Okay, it's very hard to fly like this. Okay, there we go. We are flying. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, uh, my, I went speechless for a second because of that Zeppelin. Um, wow. Um, this can hover on water, as hover engines can do. And um, I've got stuck, so. And I'm upside down. Okay, let's uh, get. Um, yeah, now, uh, yeah, this is more of a tr flying triangle. Okay, let's look away from that thing. This is this uh, video will have to be edited very heavily. And uh, okay, this is a train. This is very embarrassing because I rushed it. Rushed this. Um, oh, a mech! What are you doing here? Why is there a mech parked right in front of me? Uh, wow, he has a really nice looking mech. Okay, it moves in a weird way though. He has a really nice looking mech. I like that. Oh, of course, um, I don't make mechs. I spawn at rails, and uh, as you can see, I have speakers. So this is a train. Oh no! Okay. Uh, very unpleasant logo is back, and uh, I really don't like it. 
I'm just gonna nickname him Very Unpleasant though. though. Why not? <laughs> okay, um, so this goes around. This goes, this is a, uh, I tried to make the fastest train I could. So I put a conveyor engine on it. And uh, yeah, this goes like 300 speed. If I can use the conveyor engine to slow down and um, I derailed so this happens. Uh, there we go, it's back on the ground. And uh, okay, so that was train. I don't really know how to drive trains. Oh, this is my new rocket that lags everyone. <laughs> So let's spawn at the base. Uh, it has a launch takeoff sound effect, but for copyright reasons, I will not play it. I think I heard a jetpack. I don't know. No. And a flying mech, just like my mech flying. That reminds me, this video is getting really long. Okay, I'm back and uh, now it's about to fold because of, it's just finished loading. Uh, let's close the door because no one's boarding on and uh, here we go. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, whatever. Let's just take off instantly. And uh, here we go. I don't want to do any countdown. Let's just take off and uh, here we go. We are, uh, so the stage separation is uh, at uh, 4,000 or 5,000 altitude. I pick a random one, I usually do 4,000. Um, as I am going to do right now, uh, stage separation will be at 4,000. And uh, the stage separation is going to start actually. Right now, stage separation has finished and uh, the uh, landing, landing legs have been deployed. Uh, Okay, the camera switched by itself. I need to fix that, but actually, I don't really want to fix it. Uh, the second stage separation happens at 8,000 altitude. So, oh yeah, it's about to happen right now, right after the, that one's losing acceleration. And here we go. <laughs> Let's just say that didn't happen. Okay, landing legs, landing legs have been deployed, and uh, we are flying up. Um, okay, I've made an error while flying the rocket. Well, uh, okay. Let's just see if. Uh, Oh, okay. Uh, okay, it's working now. Don't know why. Uh, I don't know what was wrong with my uh, flying, but um, I've made an error while flying my rocket. It's fine. I corrected it, and uh, I need to land this stage right now. Uh, okay, anchor. Why not? Okay. Someone's blacklisted me so I can... Someone can blacklist me so... Um... I can show that my no blacklist thing can work. Roblox needs to patch that. It's not a problem with playing crazy, it's a problem with Roblox. Actually no, there's no way of patching it, it's just a... Uh... I just need to optimise it more. Okay, so uh, that stage is not going well. The propellers need to stop. I said stop. I said stop. They won't stop. Okay, so that propeller sound won't stop. And uh, let's open the door. Uh, you'll see why in a minute. And disconnect the lander. So the separation... Well, separation... <laughs> that always happens. <laughs> the separation has been complete. Gonna land oh, oh my controls gone weird. They like inverted all of a sudden, that was weird. 
Oh my god. Ah! I need to fire it in the specific places! It only has fly rocket if you if you know if you if you're the computer that flies a rocket then you would know how hard it is. Busters, <laughs> you gotta like rotate it and then you've gotta fire the engine to where you want it to go. That's how my rocket flies. Uh I think that was a really hard landing because I cannot do a smooth landing with it. And uh, now that everything is done, is gone successful except for that stage, let's uh, go back up. Oh, controls inverted again. No, anyway, what's with my controls going crazy? Oh, that's weird. I can see the edge of the skybox. I can see like the lines around the skybox. I've never actually noticed that before until now. Okay, I think someone just glitched out. I saw like flashing lines. I don't, I'm not actually fully. Sh I'm not fully sure that that actually happened. But I saw I saw flashing lines. So I think that means someone someone's rope has glitched out. Then go back. Steady. Click the back button. Okay. Um. Here we go. I am now going to. My controls have changed. My controls changing constantly with this rocket. Okay, go in, please. Go in, please. Just go in, please. Uh, if I like close the door, on my no, that does nothing but uh, make it shake around. There we go. We are now going to land. Oh. Uh. Oh. Wait. Wrong button. <laughs> okay. Uh. Where's the button for this again? Oh. Over. Oh, okay. <laughs> I always forget the buttons for this rocket. Okay, let's just say um, we're in Earth's orbit now and the door opens and the, the ladder flies out somehow and then the landing gears, the landing legs deploy, deploy and then it lands like somewhere around them and it's just a old V to land, okay, and uh, there we go, that was the rocket. I think the rocket took the longest to fly around and stuff. Okay. Now that I'm done with the rocket, this is uh, my fastest plane. It's called Plane. It's an airliner plane that I made a while ago. Um, yeah, it looks really weird. And the handling is really bad for this. Of course, I've improved my building so I can build better, better handling vehicles. Oh look, he has that logo away now. Yes, now I don't have to move my camera around. Okay, so yeah, this is using a conveyor engine and this is my fastest plane. The acceleration is quite slow though. So you just have to wait until it... I hate how the controls are inverted and not inverted at the same time. Oh! Okay, okay, don't do that please. Yeah, this goes, uh, this is not its max speed. Let me show you its max speed now. Handling is so bad that I can't fly as well. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is, uh, its max speed used to be 10,000, but I don't, I don't really see it getting that speed. Well, look, it can flip around because of the Veo engine suddenly slows down. <laughs> okay, so now that that's done, Let's uh, show working conveyor elevator. Okay, so I'm not the maker of this. Uh, someone help me with this. Atomic Man 436. He's really good at this game. And uh, I was planning to use this on my rocket, but it wouldn't fit, so yeah. 
I just have it as a single save right now, a separate save. Uh, you, you can see it going up and down. Okay, there we go, it's done. Let's uh, move on to another build. Simple heli- oh, I haven't used this in such a long time. It looks so weird. Uh, anyway, this is how it flies. Uh, sound's not loading in. There are speakers that are meant to play sounds. Anyway, uh, so this is a uh, helicopter. It has a little rescue seat. And here's a twist that can drop down. If I remember the bone. Okay, that shocked me. As it made that. Okay. Put the anchor there. Okay, so there we go. That can drop down. Uh, don't know why I added that. I just added that. And. Uh, I, I, oh wait, I've added that so people could just ask me on command. Okay, so this moves AFK players. I use this to move them back into their plots. Just so they don't get flung off or anything. Uh, I want to show you it in action, but I, really, I can't really find anyone who's AFK. If I find anyone who's AFK, I could do it. No, no one's AFK right now, so I can't really show this in action. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can show my thing. In, I can show my uh, and my uh, blacklist glitch in action now. So okay, so here we go. Let me show you in action. I feel like this video might be like 30 minutes long. It's gonna take two days to upload. Anyway, let me show you uh, the thing. I uh, anchor, and then I, there we go, and I'm in. Very easy. Why is he not blacklisted? It makes no sense. <laughs> Probably his friend. Um, so yeah, I, I'm able to get myself in. Okay. What was I on? Oh yeah, I was on Player Mover. So this is Hyperspeed Plane. Uh, this plane was designed to be fast, but um, the other plane ended up being faster. Okay, please do not play that music. It played, it played some music from a game. Hopefully, I don't think it'll be copyrighted, but the uh, developer had hard make, uh, has been hard at work making that song, so probably it is copyrighted. Uh, so, uh, for, copy, for copyright reasons, I have a, so I have a, look away the sound. <laughs> oh, wow, wow! Okay, so this sometimes gets unstable when I do some big mouse movements. Okay, actually no, it's actually really stable, but, well look at this, it comes it looks like it's going really unstable. The steering gets unstable when I do that. And uh, I use rudder to correct it every time. Okay, that was an example of, be of it being kind of unstable. Okay, so yeah, this is my second fastest plane. Titanic 2. Oh, wait, I've already shown you that. It was just a zoom variation. Boeing 777X. Okay, I was really bad at the game when I built this. This is before I. This is like way before I've made this uh, the blimp. And uh, I think it was like uh, after I built. Uh, uh, I think it was like when I got news about the 777X and it is folding wings, so I decided to put folding wings on it and named it 777X, even though it's not the 777. 77777. Okay, that makes me confused with saying seven loads of times. But uh, I don't know what's uh, Boeing airliner planes named. Seven. I think it's just uh, the way that the their jet airlines is, are named, and I have forgot how to unanchor, so uh, I cannot show you this flying as I have forgot the controls, and I'm trying to do the controls that I have done right now, and uh, and yeah, and okay. 
Let's move on to a different thing then. I can't show you this flying. Here we go. Submarine. I don't use this much. So this submarine. Um, it's my first ever submarine. Let me show you it. Okay. Um, so this is the camera. I think I can extend it by pressing X. There we go. And uh, here we go, it moves. And uh, this is used to discover Easter eggs inside the water. And uh, as you can see, this person needs help, I think. So I'll go and retract it and open my doors, my side doors, as the top doors are broken because of this glitch and there we go, the doors have been opened. Uh, I'll go and help him. Okay, let's close those doors and then uh, head up to the service. Okay, he has glitched out. Oh no, he has not glitched out. Okay. Uh, okay. This does not like overwater. And uh, now that I've... Uh, Done that, I could open the doors, go over water, and he is safe. If he's still there. Okay, he's not still there. Um, so that was the submarine. Mini blimp. Okay, so this is a um, little cafe floating in the air. So that's all it is. It's a little cafe. I think, I, I think it was uh, one in the building challenge for a flying cafe, I think. <laughs> I remember our flying cafe building challenge that I did with uh, my friends. Uh, I did not film it though. Okay, blimp, we've already seen that. Colour coded plane part, so very colour coded stuff. And this shows you how to build it uh, my old way. Okay, so after uh, there's a. Uh, okay, so oh, so this is the Hindenburg two again. It was just a fly test, and uh, I'll do that the last uh, part of the video. Spy car. So spy car is a. Uh, and. Uh, it's like a stealth car, it's kind of like... Ah, oh, spawned in water by accident. Uh, so... You can fly around. Oh, not fly around, it can move around. And, uh... That's it. I was building a Saturn V. Nice. Okay, so this is a uh, this is the last thing that I'm going to use before ending this video. And this bit quells people. And uh, for copyright reasons, I'll end the video just uh, one second later. The music starts playing. So. I've said that a lot in this video. Let's drop speakers. And uh, now uh, let's use it. Three, two, one.